Hello, everybody. Blessings to you. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Yeah. Come on in and say hello to me. Let me know that you can see me real good, okay? And uh, can you hear me? How you doing, Tara? Blessings to you. Come on, saints of God, those of you that are on the Facebook, give me a heart right quick. Give me a heart. Put that thumb up there and all that good stuff. Come on, let's celebrate God. Uh, he's still good. He's still wonderful. He's still making a way out of no way, right? <laughs> to those of you that are on the Zoom software, God bless you. You know, Pastor, love you, right? I really, really do love you. Uh, Yankee. I hope I'm saying your name right. How you doing? Um, Sister Renee Chatham, hanging that you are in control of your success, right? Hallelujah. There go my little angel, Maria Diaz. Now, Maria, uh, why are you not using your married name? We'll talk about that later. But, <laughs> but I bless God for all of you. Are you having a good Saturday? Are you having a good Saturday? You're starting it all right. Those of you on the Zoom software, are you having a good Saturday? I pray that you are. I really do. I really, really pray that you are. I thank God for all of you and that uh, you are on on today. Blessings to all of you. Blessings to all of you. Uh, Mother Lemons, I see you. Uh, Dewana, I see you. God bless your heart. Uh, Dr. Tate, I bless the Lord for all of you. Uh, I am so very grateful to uh, to all of you. I'm sorry, uh, Dr. Tate, Chief Apostle, Woman of God. God bless your heart on today uh, and to the saints of God everywhere. Now, you know, uh, let me also encourage you. Uh, don't forget to, to oh, I heard somebody say Minister Mosley. Who is that that's saying minister? James Goodlow from L.A. God bless your heart. I remember you. It's been a while, though, but I remember you. Thank you so very much for being on. God bless you, man of God. All say, how is everything going in L.A. right now? Oh, did I? It's cool. It's going, going, I got you. I got you. Well, hang on, because I want to, that's what I'm going to talk about today, everybody. I want to really, and God bless you, Brother Good Lord. I appreciate you so very much. I want to really deal um, with this. Woo, y'all, I tell you, I tell you. How you doing, Sister Audrey? I see you. Uh, Cherie, good morning. You know, everybody, um, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't but then I do know. We know God, right? We know God. So let's get, get off into our uh, session on today and, and what the Lord, because I want to pray. Uh, I really want to pray and I want to believe God uh, for some of you here on today. And, and please know uh, that right now, our country, we, we must engage in prayer. We really do. We must continue to engage in prayer. We must continue. I was trying to see if... Uh, 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 Sister Dixon or, or um, uh, is Yousef on? Is Yousef or Sister Dixon on? Let me know. Uh, let me know uh, if they are on. Y'all uh, say hello to me so I know that you all are on. I had a, I wanted to make sure Yousef Dixon uh, is a member of the church there in Houston and he is graduating. He is graduating. He's a 2020 graduate. <laughs> So uh, we are so appreciative and very excited for him. How you doing, Junior? You know, everybody, um, uh, uh, Mother Evelyn, blessings to you. I sat in my office. Uh, well, last night I just, I stayed up later than I normally do and, and looking at the news and like, okay, God, what, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, I woke up this morning and sat in my office looking out. Uh, a window and talking to the Lord saying, Lord, what do you want me to say? What can be stated? What can be stated uh, in the midst of all that is going on? What can, you know, is there a word? And I, you know, it's a rightful question. You know, we always say, well, God always got something to say. And I do teach that, but it's like, God, <laughs> whoo, is there a word? Not just, not just a sermon, but is there a word? Not just another song, but God is that word. I mean, we really need a word. And in fact, when we say a word, everybody, we need an answer. 
we 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 are asking God, Lord, do you have an answer for us? We need an answer to what is going on right now. Can somebody write that? We need an answer. Can somebody write that? We need an answer. I I want an answer from heaven. I want an answer from the Lord God. We really do need an answer from you. Is there a word from the Lord right now? So um, something came into, well, the Lord really spoke into my spirit today. And uh, he told me something. Let's go to the book of 1 Samuel. Uh, 1 Samuel, the 16th chapter. Uh, I don't know about where you are in your area here in Atlanta. It is it is really really bad here in Atlanta. Uh, it is really bad. So much I didn't know. By the time I went to sleep, there was not so much chaos. But when I woke up this morning and turned on the news, you know, it uh, buildings have been vandalized, glass <clears throat> have been broken, uh, so many different things have have happened. Uh, so. Uh, we 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 need a word. We need a word. We need an answer uh, from the Lord. We need God. We need you to speak clearly to us as to what is needed right now. God, we need answers. Somebody right now, personally in your life, you need an answer. And and sometimes you know the preacher we come there because really. Um, Back in the 60s, you know, African Americans, we couldn't have money to go to a lot of the other uh, uh, psychologists and, and the counselors and all of that. We went to church because we need to hear from the preacher because the preacher is supposed to have heard from God. <laughs> so I come as the preacher today to tell you what I've heard from God. In the book of 1 Samuel, the 16th chapter, uh, is where uh, I want to go. And if I can get my if my screen would work properly with me, I believe we, we can do this. Uh, and I'm reading from the New International Version, everybody, okay? So uh, it may be a little bit different in your version. But let's just, and this is really what I heard. I mean, no more than about 15 minutes prior to right now. And this is what the Lord said to me. The Lord said to Samuel, 1 Samuel 16 and 1. Now, Samuel is a prophet of God. He's a prophet like I am. And he, the Lord told Samuel, now asked him a question. How long will you mourn for Saul? Since I have rejected him as king over Israel, fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I'm sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. Now, many of you already know what is happening. Uh, the current king, God has rejected him, said, no, no more can he be king. Uh, and that hurt Saul's feelings. I mean, it hurt Samuel's feelings, rather. And uh, now being a prophet, you know, the prophet does have feelings. Because the prophet was mourning over Saul. Uh, I believe Samuel loved Saul. I believe Samuel really cared about Saul. But right now, Saul messed up. You know what? Sometimes you can care about somebody and they mess up. They will mess up. They, you know, uh, like, why did you do that? And now I need you to realize this. The prophet cannot go above God. Now, I know we, we, we hear that, but I need you to really understand that. Somebody, oh, you the prophet, just make this happen. No, I can't go above God. Now, I do have a certain uh, space or parameter to move um, as, as God would give me. Some things I don't have to go to God about. He's given me that power. And that's like I said about the police, the mayor or the governor has given the police certain authority that they do not have to go and check with the, the lieutenant or whoever the captain. They already have permission to pull you over. They already have permission to do certain things. Now, there are some other things that they have to get permission for. As a prophet of God, I do have permission to do some things. However, to bless you, I have that permission from God. I can bless you right now. I can multiply your seed. I can pray healing. I don't have to go to God for that. He's given me that power. But now when God has made a statement, you cannot bother him. I've rejected him. Or when, Abra, um, when God told Adam and Eve, do not touch of this tree, that one you cannot do. I, re uh, I, I remove that from your privileges. You cannot, everything else, you got full reign, all right? So understand this, Samuel was kind of, was upset. He was really hurt, but it's time to move on. Now, somebody write that for me. It's time to move on. 
it's time to move on. Everybody, those of you that are on the Zoom software, put that in your notes. It's time to move on. Now, this is, it, trust me, I'm going to make some sense in a moment. It's time to move on. We got to move on. And, and this is the year that I, I stated this, 2020, I, I said in the beginning, this is the year to move further. Uh, 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 Dr. Tate, uh, this is the year to move further. This is the year we got to move further. We cannot stay where we are. We have to move further. Now, somebody, I know it still hurts about the divorce you've gone through. I know it hurts about maybe you lost a child. I understand that it hurts that, that you know, even for me last year, my mother passed. Yeah, I'm still not totally over it. No, but we have to move on. That sound almost sounds insulting. It almost sounds like you don't really care, but it you do care. If you care about life, if you care about your family, if you care about your friends, we have to move on. We cannot stay in the same situation. We, I thank God, I'm a 60s baby, really I'm a 70s baby, I was born in 68, but I thank God that, you know, the, the, the uh, riots that went on back then, yes, it did bring about a change, and it, it, we had to move further, we had to keep going, we had to keep pressing uh, towards the mark for the prize, what is that prize? Freedom, success, prosperity, victory. So saints of God, I need you to grab this, that it's time for us to move further. It's time to move on. Does that make sense to everybody? It's time to move on. I know it hurt. I know. Even when you have uh, uh, been sick in the hospital, okay, you can't stay in the hospital. You've got to move. We And, you know, uh, um uh, as as sick as my mother was in her dying uh, days, uh, we we got to move that move her to hospice. We gotta we gotta move her out by X Y and Z. They need that bed. You know they gotta get ready for somebody else to come in. It's time to move on. And again, it does sound like it's insensitive. You know how dare you? Don't you know I hurt my leg? I know, but you gotta get up and you gotta start walking on that leg. But it hurts. I understand that. But the only way for it to get better is just, we got to move on. Can somebody write that? The only way to get better is we gotta move on. Can somebody write that? The only way we're going to get better is we gotta move on. We gotta keep going. All right. We cannot stop. So let's go back to the word of God. We're right here in first Samuel 16 and uh, verse two. Uh, so the Lord has already told Samuel, listen, fill your horn up with oil. I need you to go to Jesse's house. Samuel said, well, how can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. You know, me and Saul ain't on good terms right now. And do you know, uh, oh, bless his name. I feel somebody praying for me. Keep on praying for me. Do you know that some people are not mad? Well, they're mad at you, but really they're mad at God. Saul was upset with Samuel, but it really was the anointing of God. It really was, God told Samuel, you know, I rejected him. But now some people, what are you saying, Dr. Mosley? Some people, Sister Monica, Yankee, some people will take it out on you, their anger their frustration, and they're taking it out on the wrong person. Somebody said it this way, hurt people, hurt other people. Somebody, and I, I, I pray I'm making sense. Can I get a heart right there if you understand what I just said? Somebody is taking their anger out on you, but all you were doing is what God told you. Mother Lemons, somebody is taking their frustration out on you but you were just doing what God told you to do. You were only doing what you knew to do. Am I making sense? You were doing what you knew to do. So they're taking their frustrations out on you. And, 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 and it's like, God, why? I'm just doing my job. Oh, oh, shy. I feel the Holy Ghost done got a little stronger. Hey, where I am. I'm just doing my job. But, the, you know, God, if I go back, Saul is going to kill me. And, and, and you were just doing your job. And here comes Saul. He's upset with you. But, but now, uh, he said, how can I go? If Saul hears it, I go, my darling wife, how are you? Uh, she's in her brother. I uh, just had 
twins. Her brother and, and his beautiful wife just had two twins, so she's out there assisting them in Memphis. How can I go, Lord? And then the, the Lord said, take a, a heifer with you. Lord, now you know I want to preach something about that, right? But we ain't going to go. That's a joke, right? <laughs> but take a heifer with you and, and, and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Now, the second, the third verse says, invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. Because you go, you are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Do you hear what God is doing? Do you hear what he's doing? What is God doing? God is creating strategy. Somebody write the word strategy. Look at what he said. Samuel, Samuel said, but you know I can't go up there. You know Saul going to kill me. Number one, take a heifer with you and say, I've come to sacrifice this unto the Lord. Now, I want you to do that now. But now, this other part, you know, that's really not the main reason why you're going. We just go camouflage. The main reason why you're going is I want you to also get connection with, with Jesse. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I'm going to show you what to do. Did you hear me? God has got, God have a strategy. What we need right now is a strategy to win. Did that make sense to somebody? Dewana, what we need right now is a strategy to win. We need a strategy Oh, winning is possible now. Let's, let's get that understood. Winning is possible. Now we just need strategy. Now, now without a strategy, because the Bible says without a vision, the people perish. Without a strategy, you'll do anything. That's why here in Atlanta, they, they, they have uh, really destroyed uh, a lot of areas downtown. Broke glass, but, but that wasn't a good strategy. We need a strategy to win. We need a strategy. Dr. King had a strategy of nonviolence. No, we go, we go walk in silence. No, we go, we go to uh, 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 not ride the bus and show them that there's power. Not necessarily, there is black power, but there's also green power that the black power have. God, somebody pray this prayer. Lord, give me strategy. Show me what I need to do. That's why I encourage people, just don't pray. No, pray specifically. What do you want? Sister Chatham, we talked about that, right? What do you want to happen? Uh, uh, and I tell people, well, we just said, Lord, bless me. You know, Apostle Tate, they just said, Lord, bless me, Lord, bless me. No, he's already done that. Just the mere fact that we woke up this morning, that is a blessing. What do you want? Well, the Lord knows my heart. I don't, I don't approve of that. The reason why I say that is because Jesus walked by the blind man. Jesus asked him, what do you want? He said, I'm blind. I want to see. Everybody's prayer, uh, everybody's idea of a blessing may not be the same. Huh? Does that make sense? Lord, give me strategy. Pray. Lord, I want this home or one equivalent to it. God, I want this type of marriage or equivalent to it or better than that. Lord, I want this type of car or something equivalent to that. Just don't say, Lord, bless me. Does that make sense? To Can I get a heart right there? God, I need strategy. He gave him strategy. He just didn't say, go. Go on, Samuel. I'm going to be with you. No, he gave him strategy. Take a heifer, and which was very customary at that time. It was customary for Samuel to go and because it was considered a peace offering. So he was able to do that without being detected. Can I, oh, y'all, am I, am I teaching pretty good here today? I, 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 feel, I feel an anointing of God. Some of you want a new job. God, give me strategy to get that job. Give me who I need to talk to. Huh? Give me who I need to take out for a cup of coffee. Now, I know somebody, no, you don't need to do all that. No, I, the Lord will give you strategy. Lord, give me strategy. Who do I need to uh, uh, ask over my home? And, and you know, because some people, they get to know you. They maybe even open a door for you, create an opportunity for you. 
Lord, who and what do I need to do? Give me strategy like you did, Samuel. Ooh, I'm about to get happy already. Look at that. All right. So, Lord, and I'm telling you, whatever you want, Lord, give me strategy. How do I start this business? How do I get more money in my life? Give me strategy. Some of you don't need to talk to them. Why? Because they over the, the HR department. Oh, that's maybe who I need to talk to then. Uh, let me just go over there and buy them a cup of coffee and a donut. Let me just go over there and say, hey, how you doing? You was on my mind. I love your hair. You know, strategy. The Lord may tell you to compliment them every day for the next 17 days. And after the 17th day, I want you to buy them lunch. God, give, am I, give me 20 hearts right there. I felt that one right there. I felt that one. God, give me strategy and give me directions to how to choose the right thing to keep testifying your love. I love it, Maria. Huh? Yankee says, amen. Give me strategy for that promotion like you did, Samuel. Sister Hall, you got it. You got the revelation. Somebody's getting that revelation right now. Lord, give me, somebody on the Zoom software, give me strategy. I want strategy, all right? So, and the Lord may tell you, give you strategy even in prayer. I want you to pray regarding this situation for the next seven days. And I want, every time you pray, I want you to pray out, call out this name. And then on the eighth day, I want you to contact them. I want you to send them a Facebook post, a message. God, give me strategy. So uh, uh, the Lord said, take a heifer with you. And, and, and say, I, this is what you're going to tell everybody. I came to make a sacrifice to the Lord. Now, everybody don't need to know the whole strategy. Sometimes be quiet. Don't tell everybody everything. I come to make a sacrifice and I come to anoint the next king. Don't. Somebody said like this, pick and choose your battles. Now, some things God is saying, that's private. Don't you go and tell everything. Y'all hear me? <laughs> don't go and tell everything. Don't go, don't tell every. This is part of your blessing. So don't tell. Can I get another amen? Uh, uh, don't, don't tell everything. I'm going over here looking for me some more furniture. You can't tell everybody everything. Because some people, they are nosy. And they go get into your business and some people are blocking. You can't tell everybody, I'm going to talk to the HR director. I'm going to take them out to eat and we go do this. And you can't go there. Well, I'm going to do that too. They'll block your blessing. All right. Don't tell everybody everything. This is strategy. Am I making sense? Where well, my darling wife? Am I making sense? All right. So listen to me carefully. He said, now, I want you to invite Jesse. Okay, invite Jesse. And, and Samuel did what the Lord said. I told y'all before, follow directions, okay? Follow directions. All right, so uh, uh, Samuel did what the Lord said. And when he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled. They, they got scared. They got scared. They got, there you go, Renee. You learned that lesson, right? They got scared because when, and, and when the prophet came, when the prophet came, everybody, uh, it wasn't like it is today in a sense. And, and Valencia, I don't know if you're on here, but, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, back then they were scared of the prophet. And Valencia called me the other day and said, Pastor, uh, I was telling somebody about you, but, and I, I know you can help them, but they so scared of you. <laughs> and I kind of like, why? Why are they so scared of me, Pastor? I mean, they just scared to death of you. They just scared of you. Well, that's the way it was here with Samuel. So now I understand. So I understand, Valenti. They were scared of the prophet because the prophet, please hear me now. I, I, I'm not making a joke. I'm very serious. The prophet has great power. Great power. You know why you pay your tithes and your offering? We use the scripture from the prophet Malachi. That's the main scripture that we use with, when it comes to paying tithes and giving offering because the prophet has the power to bless. He is giving the command from God. Yes, but I remember I told you before how God has given the prophet certain parameters to operate within. That's one of them. The prophet has the ability to bless you. That was a young lady uh, that called me last week. Uh, uh, 
way at a whole nother state and all, but I call, I want to pay my tithes, Prophet Moses. I want to pay my tithes, because she called me Prophet Moses. I want to pay my tithes, because she realized the Prophet has the ability, and I bless her. I, I speak, God, I want you to increase. Next time she called me, she had more money to pay. She had more tithes. I want you to understand, don't, don't belittle the Prophet. Don't ignore the Prophet. Am I making sense? Well, my heart's on that one now. I got, uh, 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 I got quiet now. Don't mess around with the prophet, okay? Leave the prophet alone. So when the prophet came, they got nervous because the prophet can speak death. The prophet can speak life. Then they got scared also because they know uh, if Saul heard about the prophet, Saul may come and kill you. So everybody got nervous and they got, when the prophet, they saw the prophet coming. Uh, 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 Dave, that, uh, 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 one of, uh, Deacon Johnny told me, well, no, I would invite them to come back to church. They so scared of you, Pastor Mo. They scared, they are scared of you. Well, I used to, I, I used to be offended. I'm like, I'm really nice. I am a nice, ain't I nice? But the anointing of God is nothing to play with. Can I get an amen right there? I'm nice, ain't I, ain't I, Sister Audrey? Renee Child, ain't I nice? But the anointing is nothing to play with, all right? You hear me crack a joke, but the anointing of God, and I enjoy what I do, but we don't play with the anointing. Did that make sense to everybody? We don't play with the anointing, okay? So now listen, let me move on. I gotta, gotta quit this and end this. Uh, 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 they asked the prophet, do you come in peace? Do you, do you come in peace or are you coming to kill somebody? What is it? Because the prophet has power. Now, Samuel replied, yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. And uh, uh, consecrate yourselves and, and, uh, and come and sa to, sa to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the feast. He said, come on, Jesse, I need y'all to come. I want y'all to be special guests. I want y'all to be special guests. Oh, and Jesse probably, ooh, the prophet invited us over there to, to, to where he is. Okay, ooh, that one an honor. And everybody, I'm telling you, honor the prophet. Don't dishonor the prophet. You don't want to do that. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to. Not just me, but anybody, okay? Anybody, all right? You honor the prophet of God. So now, when they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab. Uh, uh, I say e Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here uh, before the Lord. In other words, when Samuel saw this son of Jesse, it's like this got to be the one right here. This got to be the one. All right. This is the one I have to anoint. Now, but the Lord said to Samuel, don't consider him because of his appearance. And I know he may look good and he's tall but I rejected him. See, the scripture says the Lord does not think like people. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. Let's say that's what the scripture says, right? The Lord does not look at the things the way people look at it. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Now I got to wrap this up. Somebody write this, look beyond. Somebody write that, look beyond. Write that for me. Look beyond. Now, I'm getting ready to prophesy to somebody, and I, I really am. But you got to look beyond. What he's trying to tell the prophet is don't just look at how he looks. Look beyond. Don't just look at, at uh, 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 your anger. Look beyond. Don't just look at how handsome or how fine she is. Let's look beyond. All right. Yes, it is true that this person is is gorgeous and, and this it looks good. But now we got to look beyond. We got to look beyond. This is the message. I, I know as African-Americans, we are angry. We are upset. But I need somebody to look beyond. Look beyond. And and we, we and here in Georgia, I don't know in your area in Texas, but here they're burning buildings and, and uh, crashing windows and, and destroying hotels. And, but wait a minute. God is telling us, I need you to look beyond. Man, look at the outward appearance. But you, we have to practice being spiritual, and that is looking beyond. 
going beyond. We got to look at now, if I do this, what is the result of this going to be? We just cannot operate on the surface. Can somebody write that one for me? Don't just operate on the surface. I know, now I got to go back to my ancestral heritage. Some things may not have been fair or right. I understand that. But now they could not just operate on the surface and go tell the boss off because they needed that job to put me through school. I don't know if I made sense that time. I don't know if I made sense that time. Huh? We don't don't just operate on the surface. I know we have a little bit more uh, flexibility, but now don't don't be so quick to to react. We got to respond, which means we got to uh, take in mentally and what what should we do? Lord, give me strategy. Am I making sense right now? Just don't react and, and throw a bomb here. And don't just react and cuss this person out. No, Lord, give me strategy. I know, now I'm angry, yes. And the Lord, I, I really believe you have every right to be angry. You have every right to be upset. You have every right to want to cuss somebody out. But now God, in order for me to have the total victory, I need strategy. Because if I don't have strategy, somebody un, uh, uh, senselessly is going to die. Somebody uh, uh, senselessly may lose their job. It may hurt somebody else that does not need to be affected by my reaction. Uh, where, where are my hearts right now? I got to make sure that I'm operating. Sister Dewana, God, I need you to give me strategy. How do I go about this? How? So now we got to understand God is telling us, look beyond. Don't, don't just look at how, how wonderful, how tall this is. No, I need you to look a little deeper. I need you to look a little, I know your heart is heavy and I know you want to go put sugar in the gas tank and you want to go get your gun and, and I know you want to get a knife and you want to cut somebody's throat and I know you want to burn down that building. I know you want, but wait a minute, hold it. You have every right to your feelings, but you got to control your actions. Can somebody write that for me? You have every right to your feelings but control your actions. I know parents, you're upset at whatever little Johnny did. You have every right to your feeling, but control your actions. Sometimes we hitting Johnny too much. Sometimes we didn't slap Sally a little too hard. You have every right to your feelings. Ooh, is God talking to anybody here? Uh, is God talking? Every right to your feelings, but control your actions. I know you want to pop them across the head. I know you want to shoot your, your wife off. I know you want to do this. And I understand. Hurt is hurt. Hurt is hurt. All right. Let's not go by our emotions, but God will guide us with the correct strategy. Oh, you got it. I, I, I like this because y'all let me know you're getting the message. <laughs> You let me know you're, you're getting the message. You have every right to your feeling, but control. Did that make sense, Sister Hall? That make, Control your actions. So now, uh, 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 listen, surely, but you got to be choosing him because he, he's strong and tall. No, no, no. Man, look at the outward appearance. But I look at the heart. I'm looking beyond. I, yes, I made him too. That's my child, but I didn't. I rejected him for this assignment. Everybody doesn't have the same assignment, and we should know that. Everybody's not going to respond the same way. Where are these preachers? Where are they? Where are they? They supposed to be down here like Martin Luther King? Where are they? They supposed to be now. Everybody don't have the same assignment. Everybody, does that make sense? Every everybody, it does not have the same assignment, and we cannot jeopardize our anointing trying to uh, appease you. Some of us have to stay where we are. Um, Mother Lemons, I hope she don't mind, uh, but Mother Lemons um, shared something with me. Uh, she had to go into the hospital, and. Uh, 
someone called her. I had not gone to see her, but I did call her. And uh, someone, one of her relatives called her and said, uh, where have your, your past haven't been down here? Well, well, uh, well uh, and so the, the person called me. And I'm her pastor, and and uh, well, uh, Doctor Mosley. Now, when the people get sick, you're supposed to go and and visit them, and and you know, some people go and visit them. And uh, I said, okay, well, praise the Lord. Well, I'll see what I can do to get down there as quickly as possible. It kind of bothered my feelings a little bit. I'm like, well, I've checked on it, and I certainly have called, and I called her immediately and said, Mother, are you all right? Is something wrong? And Mother caught wind of what happened, and she called me back <laughs> and said, listen, pastor, I told that individual, don't they ever call my pastor no more. My pa- I don't want my pastor coming up here seeing me like this. He, t- I feel the glory of God. He taught me, talking about me, he taught me how to pray. I don't need him up here. I need him praying wherever he is. He pray where he is. He ain't got to come up here to see me. I'm good. I'm my hair ain't done right. I don't want him up here seeing me like this. Let him do what he taught us to do, and that is to pray. Did that make, Monica, do you remember that? I, I, now, because she called me, I don't know if you were there. But I want you to realize everybody don't have the same type of ministry. Every, and some of these churches with larger mi- people, they cannot go to the hospital and visit everybody. But to know that they are praying, they taught you how to pray. I'm not your babysitter. I'm your teacher. You know, ask your college professor to come to see and, and sit here and be here with you. And No, I am the man of God. Let me go into my prayer chamber and call your name before the Lord and let God bring healing, which he did because she came out of that hospital. Well, did you hear me? She can, oh, I'm about to get happy now. I want you to know God is. He's, he, he has given everybody a different anointing. Let me, let me move on. So Jesse called all of his sons. I got to paraphrase this now. Jesse called all of his sons and, and, and they came before the prophet. The, everyone that came, the, the prophet, God kept telling the prophet, that's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one. No, he ain't the one either. What do you mean, God? No, he ain't the one either. But Lord, surely he got to be, no, he ain't the one either. But Lord, and Je- Samuel said, now, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Jesse, do you have any more sons? Do you have any, well, there's, only, there's one more, the baby, he's out there in the, in the, in the yard, you know, with the with the animals, and uh, yeah, but he we well, go get it. We we're not gonna sit down until you bring him. Sometimes I cannot make you be uh, the one if God has not chosen you for that particular assignment. Everybody, everybody is not called to be no prophet. Now you see a lot of pastors, and some pastors they want to call you know call themselves prophet this and prophet that, but everybody is not called for that. Everybody's not called to be a pastor. Every prophet is not called to be a pastor. I don't have a 1,200 membership. I don't have maybe, I I probably got 50 people, but I'm grateful. But that's my calling. That's my call. I used to feel bad about that. Lord, do I not have a good ministry? Oh, Lord, I used to really feel bad about that, y'all. But I have to stay in my calling. huh? I got to stay in my lane. So just because you look good, I cannot anoint you for this assignment. Your assignment may be something else. huh? Stay with your assignment. So now, after when they brought the young man, David, the Lord said to Samuel, that's the one. David? Yeah. He's the youngest, but he's the one. He's the baby, but he's the chosen one. But, 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 he's, the Lord said, rise up, Samuel, anoint him. That's who I have chosen. I did, de- whew, now somebody write this for me. Somebody write this for me. I have been chosen. I have been chosen. Now, now finish this this way. I have been chosen and anointed. I need somebody to write that for me. That's what I hear. I have been chosen and anointed. 
I have been chosen and anointed. Did you hear me? I have been chosen and anointed. You see, so Samuel took the horn and, 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 and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day of the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. From that day on, the spirit of the Lord was heavy upon David. I want you to grab this, everybody. You have been chosen. You have been anointed. God has anointed you. Hmm? This is the new day, Rodney King, Watts Wright. Again, we are destroying our own area, stores and other businesses. Uh, nothing to do with what's happening. In the end, the city will raise. The city will rise up. Uh, uh, and, and the, you know, and I agree with what you're saying. Uh, uh, it, the city will rise, uh, raise the taxes, I'm sorry, uh, if the businesses don't come back. You're right. Saints of God, I want you to realize something. You have been chosen and anointed. Now, I got to pray. But what are you saying, Dr. Mosley? I need you to remember you have been chosen and anointed. Don't allow anything, don't allow anything to cause you to forget, I am chosen and I'm anointed. In other words, God is still looking at you. He's still looking at the situation. From that day forward, the anointing of God did not separate itself from David. You have been chosen. You got to look beyond what is happening right here. But David was, he's out there, he's a shepherd boy, but I see you looking at the shepherd boy, but I'm looking at the anointing. I'm looking at the energy. I'm looking at the skills. I'm looking at the talent that I have placed within David. But Lord, uh, uh, Davetta is, she's married and, and yeah, I understand, but I'm looking at beyond the marriage. I'm looking at beyond the, the ex, uh, exterior. I'm looking more into the inner part of her mind. I know what I created her to do. I can see all the genius ability that she has. I need you to look beyond your exterior and look more into your interior. I need you to look, can I, can somebody write this? I, you need to look beyond your faults and see your anointing. I'm telling everybody, look beyond the faults and see. See the energy. See the soul. See the anointing. I know there's so much chaos going around. Yes, there's so much hurt, so much. And, and you know, it's not helping with being uh, 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 separated and COVID-19 and, and we got to be a partner. All, it's so much going on. And so really everybody's about to pop. Everybody's about to bust. But if we could just calm down, look beyond the exterior and go into the interior. I know right now. Maybe, maybe a child is not acting right, but look beyond. I know I want you, you want to beat they little, but look beyond. Look beyond. It's something that's going on internally. As a riot, yes. That, that, that's, that's so much going on, so much anger, so much frustration. But God is telling somebody, you got to look beyond. I know, well, let's burn this building, but hold it. Look beyond that building being burned because if you, like uh, uh, Johnny Lee just stated, hey, now, wait a minute, that, that building uh, uh, helped house some of us African-Americans. That building uh, 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 is, is somebody's job. That building, I understand. But Lord, first, you got to remember, you are known and you are chosen. So now you have to go and ask God, give me strategy. I cannot just act like everybody else. I got to do like my mama said, you better act like you got some sense. <laughs> did, that, did, that, did, that, did that make sense? You better act like you got some sense. You better act like you got some sense. Act like you got, act like you've been anointed. Can somebody write that for me? Act like you've been anointed. Act like you've been anointed. Act like you got some sense. Now don't be going out there bumming, bombing cars. and Don't be, act like you got some sense. Take all of that frustration and go back to school. I don't want to do that. That takes some years. Well, you got all that energy. Go back. 
Love your kids. Love your wife. Inspire them. Go to trade school. Go to school for six weeks. Do something. But you got to act like you've been anointed. Act like you have been chosen. Act like the God that we serve is still looking at us. Man, look at the outward appearance. Man is looking at this building. A man is looking at, let's burn this car. Man is looking at the police department with hatred. But God is saying, I need you that are spiritual to look beyond. Come on, I know you have every right to be upset. You have every right to hurt. You have every right to be angry. Yes, I know that. But I'm talking about the way you deal with your hurt, the way you're channeling your hurt. I'm talking about the way you are conducting yourselves. You got to act like you have been chosen, act like you have been anointed. Act like we are children of the Most High God. Act like you are somebody special. Act that they did all over I need 20 more hearts right there. I need 20 more hearts right there. I need 20 more hearts. Act like that. I understand the Bible even said angry, anger, but sin not. Come on, act like it. And I need somebody to realize this. I need somebody to realize this. I need somebody to write this. I am still chosen. I need someone, I am still. You see the reason why I'm saying that, Sister Monica? Because David was chosen, but David made some mistakes in his life or some errors or some, he made some, some choices. He made some choices. David, he was anointed. But remember, David fell in love with the wrong woman. But she anointed. He's still anointed. David had, had a man had the girl husband killed, but he's still anointed. David, David didn't do everything right, no, but he was still anointed. He was a praiser. I come to tell somebody right now, somebody looked like, well, Lord, I've done some of this, I've done that, I've smoked weed, I've did crack, I've been to jail, I done had an abortion, I done lied, I done shot somebody. Lord, I done cheated, I done lied, I done, but I need you to know you are still anointed. You are still chosen. God is still with you. Can I get an amen right there? You are still anointed. And God is telling me to tell you, look beyond. Come on, look beyond. Come on, look beyond. I know you're angry, but look beyond. Today, I want to encourage somebody to look beyond. He never called you because you were perfect. He didn't call David because he was perfect. Oh, I've heard several stories about Dr. Martin Luther King. Hey, he was still anointed. Still a great man of God. Great man of God. I've heard stories about Michael Mosley. But I'm still anointed. I'm still called of God. Oh, yeah, he did this. He, you're probably right. I probably did do it. Yes. But I'm still anointed. I want you to know that today. You are still anointed. I want you to believe God right now. I want you to know that you are still anointed by the power of God. And I want you to praise God. David killed Uriah. You're right. But God forgave him. God did it. I'm still anointed. I like that, Maria. I'm still chosen and I'm looking beyond. I'm looking beyond. I got to get past this racial tension. I got to look beyond. How can I do it? I, I got to think God give me strategy. We need more people in political science. We need more African-Americans that are running for public office. We need more people that are anointed, that are chosen. We need more people that will start businesses. We need more people that will do the right thing. God needs more people to follow their dreams. God needs more people like you to follow their passion. God needs more people to follow the desires, go after the desires of your heart. Why? Because you are chosen. I need 20 more hearts right there. God's talking to somebody. God needs you to look beyond. Well, Lord, I got, I got this. I got arthritis. I got this and that sugar. And look beyond all of that stuff and know that God has said you can do this. Somebody, I, I, I gotta go, I gotta go. Can somebody write this? I can do this because I'm chosen. Can somebody write that? I can do this because I'm chosen. I can do this because greater is he who's within me 
than he that is in the world. I can do this because I'm chosen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, can you just praise God right there? Can you just praise God? I can do this because I'm chosen. I can do it. He knows my heart. He knows my ambition. He knows my desires. He knows my dreams. He has chosen me. It gets hard sometimes. It gets challenging sometimes. But I know I can do this because I'm chosen. I have to cry sometimes, but I can still do it. I get frustrated sometimes. I even get angry at sometimes. But oh, I thank you, God, I can do it because I'm chosen. You're chosen on today. I want you to plant your offering right now. Get your tithe. Get your offering unto the Lord right quickly. Would you do that? I want seven people to plant a $100 seed today. I want those of you that have that $88 seed, that 77 or that 22 that $11 seed, I want you to plant it right now. I want you to plant it right now because you can do this. You're not going under, you're going above only. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm getting on somebody's nerves. But can you press that heart button one more time for me? I am chosen. They don't like me because I'm chosen. They don't, they don't like the color of my skin, but I'm still chosen. They don't like uh, uh, my voice, but I'm still chosen. They don't like my idea, but I'm still chosen. They don't like where I live, but I'm still chosen. They don't like me, but I'm still chosen. God did this. God, yeah, Rosataya. God did this. And for God I live, and for God I die. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed. Be the name of the Lord. I am. Oh, y'all. Uh, Mother Evelyn, I, I know I done got shown up happy right about now. I done got shown up happy right now. Listen, those of you on the Zoom software, text the word reading. I'm sorry, text the word increase to 40691. Plant your offering right now. Plant your seed offering right now. You can text the word increase to 40691. The cash app is on the screen. Dr. Mosley, dollar sign D-R-M-O-S-L-E-Y. Give because you were chosen. Give because you are anointed. You are anointed to prosper. You are anointed to succeed. You are anointed to dream. You are anointed to manifest. You are anointed to do great things for God. I want you to believe in the power of God that is within you right now. I, I know it gets kind of tight. It got tight for David. But he had to remember, I'm still chosen. Yeah, I made some mistakes. I made some errors. Dewana, but I'm still chosen. I'm still called. Sister Dickerson, I'm still called. Valentia, I'm still called. God is with me. He never called me because I was perfect. For some reason, he chose me. And I'm not going to let him down. I may have fell. I may have fallen. I slipped. I slid. But I'm getting back up. I'm rising up again because I'm chosen. I need somebody just, oh. I know it. I know it. I know it. Can I just get maybe one person to write that? Because I'm chosen. Why are you getting up? Because I'm chosen. Why are you giving today? Because I'm chosen. Why are you still loving God? Because I'm chosen. Why are you still praying? Because I'm chosen. Why are you still going after that home? Because I'm chosen. Because he's looking at me. I am chosen. He sought me out. Amongst all the other kids, he saw me. They put everybody else before me for the presentation. They put everybody else before me for the job. They put everybody else before me before for the promotion. But God still saw me back at the back office, still working. He saw me. He saw me down in the basement, still cleaning up. He saw me way out in the field, and he said, "That's the one I've chosen." I don't care how you try to block him. I come to tell you, Audrey is still chosen. I don't care how you try to dismiss them. Allison is still chosen. I don't care how you try to ignore them. They're still chosen. Woo! Hey! Y'all, I done got happy. I done got happy. I done got happy. And I pray you have to. I pray you realize you're chosen. God is still looking at you. And you are chosen on today. Hang in there with God. Here? Yeah? Hang in there with God. Don't give up. Don't give up. You hear me? 
I heard somebody say the race is not given to the swift, neither the battle to the strong, but to the one that's chosen, the one that will endure until the end. Were you blessed on today? Were you blessed on today? Come on, my brothers and my sisters, my white brothers and my white sisters and Asians and Hispanics. We got to remember, we chosen. We chosen. We can't, we can't, we can't act like we don't have no sense now. Hallelujah. We got to know that we are chosen by God. We got to act like God is with us. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil because we are chosen. Thank you for your offering. Get your offering in. Plant your seed offering right now. The cash app is on the screen. I want you to know God is with you on today. You chose it, so now go have a fun day. Enjoy yourself, okay? All right? You enjoy yourself because you chosen for this day. You chosen. Father, I thank you right now. I bless you right now, and I thank you for all of these, your wonderful people. And I pray, I really pray I've been an inspiration to their hearts today to know that we are chosen for greater. We are chosen for success. Although others may not like us, you are still looking at us and you are still looking beyond the faults, beyond the issues, beyond our problems, beyond our habits, beyond negatives and beyond our hurt. And you said, listen, I want to tell you, Michael, you are still chosen. I want to tell you, Monica, you are still chosen. God, we thank you for still looking at us and encouraging us this day. Letting Dewana know, letting, letting Ernestine know, letting Berlithia know, letting the saints of God know. You're still chosen. Dr. Tate, you're still chosen. God is calling on you to do greater things. It is so, and we are going about right now. Let's go do greater things for God because we have been chosen for this assignment. In Jesus' name, we pray. And we thank you, Lord God. Amen. I bless God for all of you. I love you dearly. Remember now, you're chosen. You hear me? You're chosen. Stay encouraged. Continue to watch God. Continue to allow him to bless you because you have been chosen.